Well, howdy, everybody. So, Mivor has decided to send us another tool. Um, honestly, I hadn't been sure if I wanted to do any more of these reviews or not, and then they volunteered to send me this little mag drill, and I thought, you know what? That sounds like a tool, first off, that I'm actually interested in, and that I thought might be something you guys were actually interested in seeing. This, uh, I'm pretty excited to, uh, play with this thing. Now, we'll see if it's any good. The reason I'm excited about this, I own two mag drills. Um, I have a Milwaukee, I forget what model, but, you know, it's their classic half-inch capacity, maybe five-eighths, I think half-inch. And then I have a big old box that is just a monster. The problem both of those have is they are so stinking heavy that there's a break-off point where I'd say anything under about a three-quarter inch drill bit, for sure you get down to half inch. I look at it and think that's so much work to get out. It just isn't worth it. And so I end up hand drilling. So this little critter is very interesting. This is set up to take welding shank bits. This thing comes as a kit with the annular cutters. You can see, so these cut a plug out. They can only cut as deep as the pocket in the middle, which in this instance is inch and a quarter deep. So you can only go through up to inch and a quarter plate. Honestly, looking at them, I'd say they're really designed for about an inch. But the beauty of these is these things cut fast and they cut a hole that looks like you've reamed it when you're done. So at any rate, very, very nice feature. Now what I'm probably most excited about with this thing is just the weight. Um, if I need to punch big holes, I'm probably going to just use my... Uh, you know, Milwaukee Magnum hole shooter, or not Magnum hole shooter, but my mag drill or the Bucks. But if I want to punch a little one, this really looks like the ticket. So at any rate, I'm going to get this thing set up. So I took it out of the box because I figured you guys didn't really need to see me take something out of the box. The only assembly that I've had to do is the handles weren't on it. I cranked the handles on. And what I want to do is set this thing up and pop some holes through some plate and just see what it does. It does come with um, this coolant reservoir. I'm not going to put that on there because I find, I'm afraid that's going to be in my road and just be cumbersome. Oh, by the way, it does come with, I got to assemble this yet, but uh, comes with an adapter to let you put a conventional drill chuck in, which uh, definitely nice. Um, that'll let you do the smaller size stuff. So at any rate, I'm going to get this thing set up on a plate and we're going to punch some holes with it in a minute. All right, so we're set up here on the edge of this. Uh, I've got this plate of steel clamped down so it can't get away from me. So this is the single speed model. They do have variable speed versions of this. This one I believe turns 800 RPM, which is honestly a little on the fast side for big stuff, but that's not what I want this for. Um, if I was going to get one you know, just for universal use, I think I would look at one of the variable speed models. But for this, the kind of stuff I'm doing, this should work. So here's the first thing I'm curious about. Okay, so it does have a safety interlock. I was curious if it would allow you to turn on the drill without the magnet on. First question I've got here is just how strong. I'm on a piece of, uh, what is this? I think 3 8 plate. I'm curious just how good of a grip this has got. I've got it clamped now. Okay, I am not capable of ripping that off there. Okay, that's a good sign. That was first question. Like, is it really nailed down? say that is one rip snorting little hole puncher it's interesting so I would consider this to be a little bit on the fast side for a annular cutter that size but it's a small enough motor that what I'm noticing is it dogs the speed down a bit which in this instance I'd say is just fine it's these kind of brush type motors can take a lot of that and it very very much was handling that nicely popped right through there I'll bring you guys up and let you see what we've got here all right you can see very very nice clean hole just pops a plug out that thing was warm enough i didn't feel like touching it 
But anyway, fantastic job on the hole punching there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the smallest annular cutter now, and we'll see what that does. This one is the 27 millimeter. So this has, it comes with a set from 12 to 27 millimeter, which gets you from 12, we're going to say is roughly half inch, 27. So 27 would be about an inch and an eighth, or inch and a sixteenth is about what that's equivalent of. So it's got a broad enough selection of these to get you pretty close to most of the conventional English sizes. And honestly, for the kind of stuff you do with this, you're rarely trying to hit some precision hole diameter. So straight out of the box, though, the fact that it comes with these is impressive because um, domestic annular cutters uh, in these sizes are in like the $30 a piece range. So when you get this thing for, I'll have to check. We'll, I'll probably put a note in there later, but I think this was right around 200 bucks. So that's actually pretty impressive that you get the drill with the cutters for substantially less money than I can buy just the cutters for. All right, so one of the questions that I am burning to know the answer to here is, are these a standard welding shank or not? Um, I have no idea. If they're not, it's not a deal breaker for me, but it would be awfully nice if this will take a conventional welding shank. So this welding shank bit is a bit rusty, but what I'm really curious about is does this fit? Oh my goodness. So it does take, I kind of thought maybe they would have gone with some you know, goofy metric thing, but it very much runs a standard welding shank. This one is quite the bruiser as a matter of fact. I forget what size this is. We'll measure it a second. We're gonna try breaking the rules again, like we did with the plasma cutter, and go big or go home, and we're gonna try. Let me see what size this is once, see how she spins her. This one is, this one's inch and three eighths. We're gonna pop a hole in that here. by golly he did her Let's see if I was right on my inch and three eighths yeah that's exactly what it is so once again I doubt Vivor is going to recommend that you take their um, small capacity weldon shank type mag drill and you do that with it but by golly it will do it so pretty impressive um once again, I'm not going to tell you guys that I think this thing is the equivalent of my Milwaukee, but my Milwaukee is $1,300 and weighs, I don't know exactly, I think they're about 60 pounds. And honestly, that's what I really want this for. It's not that I want it to replace the Milwaukee. It's that I want it for the times when I don't feel like wrestling with the Milwaukee. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up a minute. I got to clean this. When you put one of these together, by the way, you need to like squeaky clean them and then give it a good smack in there to get it seated. So I'm gonna go do that off camera a minute and bring you back. Okay. So we've got that smacked into there now. I'm going to get this. Uh, one thing I think I'm gonna do is probably uh, snug up the gibbs in this thing a little bit. It does like to drift down. I find that annoying interesting i kind of think that they send a bunch of these allen wrenches with it oh yeah that is what those are i don't want it tight tight i just want to give it enough drag so it stays where i put it yeah that worked just fine okay 
So now we're going to put this drill chuck in. And I'm going to go grab us a 3 8 or so drill bit. We're going to try popping that through. Here we are. Here's a 2764 that looks pretty good. Oh, that's an interesting. So this is the first challenge I'm discovering is you're not going to run full length drill bits in this thing. All right, I got to go dig out a, a short drill bit. I'll bring you right back. guys I'm an idiot here I'm saying you got to use short bits this thing is adjustable ignore what I said the reason I found that out because that wasn't very tight and it was slipping I just I'm like what the heck is going on so all right you can put nice long drill bits in here this is why I test this stuff Okay, well that makes me much happier. Makes more sense now that they see that. So we gotta tweak this just a little bit more on the adjustment there. Okay, so that's this other wrench. See, this is where it would pay to use the manual, but I don't believe in those most of the time. Okay, so you can definitely put a full length drill bit in there and go to town with it. My two cents is, once again, for the money, this is hard to beat, and. I expect that I will probably end up using this tool as much or more than I use my Milwaukee or my Bucks simply because it's so light and portable and can get into so many crazy places. Oh, they give you this, by the way. It's a safety strap. They've got a uh, slot in the inside of this thing where you can safety strap something if you're on a vertical or an overhead surface just in case the power gets cut. Cause I mean, that's a problem with any mag drill. Like if the cord gets yanked out, you're screwed, it's falling off. Once again, I am thoroughly impressed. Like it, you could hear it was bogging down with it, but it did a bang up job of running that inch and three eighths. And any of these up to this, uh, you know, 27 millimeter that came with it, no sweat. And uh, the tool itself, that's why I grabbed the big one is I was curious if it was gonna be too fast and burn this up. Um, and it's showing good sharp edge, didn't phase it a bit punching through there. So frankly, I'm very impressed and uh, I guarantee you we'll use this a lot around the shop. So anyways, we'll have a link. They always send me a link to put in the description if you guys are interested in checking one of these out. Um, and like I say, if you go and you're like, no, I need a variable speed one, they, they do show a variable speed model in the manual. Um, but if you're just drilling small, I don't know what the price difference between variable speed and the standard speed model is. But uh, if you're just drilling small drills, like frankly, this is handling this size and smaller just fine at the speed that it's running at. So at any rate, I guess that's it, guys. And uh, if you got any comments, feel free to post them. Or like say, if you've got any questions, like I realize like I'm doing this because Vivor is sending me this, giving it to me for free and saying, hey, will you test this? But I feel an obligation to like, if you guys want to know, like you got a question, you're like, hey, what about this? Feel free to message me if you're like, hey, what's its reach or stroke? You know, if there's some detail you'd like to know, obviously I feel like that's where I can do you guys some good is before you spend the money, if you got a question about one, feel free to message me and I'll let you know. So at any rate, I guess that'll be it for tonight, folks, and uh, we'll catch you next time.